Hi, Ann Cornick with Paint and Porcelain. Uh, I'm here to teach beginners how to get started in China painting and recruit experienced painters to paint along with us. And today we're going to do something that I think is really fun. And this actually is fairly easy for beginners. We're going to do this bunny tile. Now, as you can see, it's just a small four by four tile. And it's a very simple bunny to do. But the nice thing about this is the frame that it's in. This is a beautiful frame that um, I got at a secondhand store and I painted it and distressed it and then put the tile in and it actually makes the tile much more usable. Now it can be hung as a, a picture on the wall and because the frame has these little hooks on the side, you almost could use it as a small tray. So I uh, just wanna show you what it is we're going to be doing. The first thing you're going to do, now the bunny that I'm painting is actually off, I think, an old Christmas card or stationery or something. I, I honestly don't remember when I got it. I've had it for so long and I've used it a couple of different times and uh, been real happy with it because it's very simple to do. But one of the things I like about it is that when you draw or trace it on, you can do it and it comes out in a very simple pattern. You just do the bunny. That's all you do. You don't do anything else that's around it because they're fairly simple to do. You can do that on your own. I use, of course, the tracing paper. This is a transfer paper. The darker side is the side that I put down on the tile. And then I take and I, obviously I take and I put my pattern on top and then I trace it. Or you can draw it freehand. This bunny's pretty simple. So I was able, like on the ornament, I just drew it freehand because it, it, it was easy. Okay, the colors you're going to need for the bunny are pretty simple. You're going to need a yellow brown, yellow brown too if you have it because that's a nice one. If not, you can just do it with yellow brown and um, you can also use the um, uh, rich brown with it and that works pretty well. I'm going to start with a fairly large brush and I'm just going to dip it in my oil. I think this one I just used recently. Oh, it needs to be cleaned. You know, to clean it, you put it in your mineral oil, clean it off, and then, here, let me pull this over so you can see what I'm doing here, too. That sometimes helps if you're a new painter. And then you put it into your um, medium and just tap it off. Okay, I'm going to side load using my yellow-brown. And I've got a little pattern in front of me of the little bunny that I already painted, so I kind of know what I want to do. You will, in the study, also get um, the, the final product and the first and second fire so you can see what they're supposed to look like. And the other thing is, if you load the study and you uh, just keep it on your computer, if you click on it, you can either go to the um, Facebook or the YouTube so you have it. Um, and it'll cut out um, a lot of the, the chit-chat that we have. So, you've traced it, you've put it on here now. I think you can see what I'm doing. I'm, I'm taking my yellow brown and I'm side loading with the yellow brown and I'm just going to go around and I'm following this little bunny um, study that I have and I'm just going to take and I'm going to put yellow brown on fairly generously I'm going to put it on over his head I'm going to put it on his little cheek Think of this as the base coat. The actual furry look will come when you um, start adding the darker colors. Then you'll see how it looks more furry. I'm going to put a little on the ends of the... Um, so I'm putting a little on the ends of the little ears here because that's where I'm going to have the brightness. And try to leave areas, as you see on the cheeks here, I've left areas that don't have any color because I want to have some highlight. Remember, if you don't leave room for the highlight on this coat, you won't get it um, on future coats. And then I'm going to go down here and put a little color in here. And the stroke I'm using for this is a long, straight stroke. And the reason for that is because you want to start getting the little fluffiness to him. And if you use these long strokes, they imitate the long fur on this particular rabbit. So just kind of lightly pull these strokes across the bottom like this. 
And then we're going to go and we're going to lightly pull some strokes up his back. But with the back, I'm trying to keep it fairly smooth. And I'm going to put a few down here on his haunches because um, you need to have a lighter brown showing there. And then on his little paws down here across the bottom, we're going to just put um, not the very front of the paw, that's actually white. We're going to put it back here. We're just going to go across and make it, you may not be able to see that. Let me make it a little darker. There we go. And then a little on his tail. Okay, so that kind of gets our bunny started. Um, you don't have to do a lot of worry with that, a lot of fuss with that. It's, it's, it's fairly flat, so you've got it up here along the ears. You've got it, um, oh, maybe a little bit in here I should do too. There we go. And then you've got it along his head and along his um, little cheek there. And just go back, make sure that it's nice and smooth. And then up down the front, and he has two paws. So there's, see how I made that line right here? That's to separate the two paws down there. And then I might just put a little right here, down there, okay? So that's pretty simple. I'm gonna clean out my brush. And the next color I'm going to use is yellow brown number two. Now, if you can't get a yellow brown number two, you could probably use, you know, a little bit of the um, rich brown, or if you have a, a, a little bit of a lighter brown in there, um, that would also give you a, a similar, uh, use it with the yellow brown and it'll give you a similar color. Okay, I'm gonna start with the easy places, the places that you'll get right away if you're a beginner, because some of these other places, you will, you will have to look at the study in order to be able to know where to add it. So I'm gonna start with the base of the ear. Obviously, I tend to like the bigger brushes, so there. Okay, so I got the little ear done. Then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna do this ear. Now, I wanna leave the section that I have here white. So I'm gonna work around it and I'm gonna work here. Let me put a little more paint on there for you. I'm gonna work here. And I'm gonna work in the middle of the ear, just pulling it to the center of the ear. And a little bit on the edge, on the side that's gonna be in the shadow. There we go. And if you get any paint up here, just use a little bit of your um, mineral oil, clean your brush off really well, and just remove that paint. Okie doke. Now I'm gonna start going down and doing the front of him. Or actually, let's do the paws next. The paws are pretty self-explanatory. You're just gonna do wherever you think there's a little bit of a shadow. So you're going to put a shadow on the side of his foot and across the top of his foot. And the same thing here. We're going to put a shadow down here and we're going to put it across the top of his foot and then we're going to flip it around and we're going to do it across the bottom of him. And in order to do that I'm going to kind of go like this. And the reason I'm going like this is because this is where the fur comes. The fur comes this way. And then I'm just going to lightly brush it down. We're also going to do a little up in here because obviously he has a shadow cast from his head. And you notice they're long, kind of streaky strokes. Then I'm going to smooth them. T 
to give them more of the look of fur. And I'm going to do some down in here. And I'm going to smooth those as well. The other place that he has a shadow, you see this line here? That's actually where his fur, the little little outside fur is covering the inside, covering that the little part of his body there. So we're just going to do a little color there and then smooth it very lightly. And finally, I'm going to go up, up under his chin and come all the way across. Now, these are short strokes coming towards his chin. And you want them kind of intermittent because you want it to look more like there's some fur coming there. And then because they're, can you see how, how the lines, they're really lines coming down, but they're a little choppy. So I'm just going to feather it a little bit, just a little bit. Um, let's go up and do his little forehead up here. Just a little bit to give him a little contour. See? And then I'm going to do around his neck here. And in this case, around his little chin, I'm trying to go a little bit over into the paint that's down below. And the reason I'm doing that is because eventually I will be um, wiping out some of this with an eraser or with a um, liner, whichever works the best for you. And I want to make sure that um, it, it's easy enough to uh, see where that the, I think it can show you here, the, um, the top of his chin will come over the little hairs there will come over the bottom, so you, you can go over with the color a little bit. But this is first coat, so we're leaving a lot of white space because you can't add the white space back in later if it's something you decide that you want. Okay. Now, uh, I want to do his little nose, so I'm just going to take... I took some... Um, I took some... Turp, um, turpentine, um, mineral spirits, and put it on my brush. And I'm just, see, I cleaned out his nose because it was covered with the other, and I'm uh, with the other color. And I'm going to take a, uh, a small brush that I have, make sure it's clean. Always check your brushes; they some they don't always get clean right away. And I I am using yellow red through this whole thing. So if you just use a yellow red, test it on your tile really lightly. You can do his nose. Oops, let's. There, okay. And I just painted in his nose ever so lightly. Okay. And now, this is where you start adding the color. Now, um, my favorite color is this, I don't know if you've ever seen it, it's called Warm Brown Gray. It's beautiful. So, um, warm brown gray is one of my favorite colors. I don't know if you've ever seen it. Let me show you what it looks like. I'm going to put it on my tile. I'll just get a little out here. Here it is. I'm going to pick it up so you can see it. This is warm brown gray. It's a taupey color. I really, really like it. I don't know if you've ever tried it, but it's one of those colors that gives you a really pretty... Um, depth to things. But um, if you don't have it, don't feel you have to run out and get it. Um, this bunny that I did previously, a lot of the browns on him were done with the warm brown gray, particularly up in here and down in here. So that gives you an idea of how it comes out. We're going to be using um, the rich brown just because, um, well, just because, but also because um, I'm trying to keep it to a simple palette for beginners so that we don't have um, to go out and buy a lot of paints right off the bat. So test, because your your rich brown can really uh, come on dark, test it on your tile first, 
and then you're going to want to go and start the same way and put the color in by his little ears and then kind of so you're going to put the color in like this and then you're going to very gently pull it out just so it gets a kind of a more of a fur look to it and we're going to do the darkness under his chin change my brushes here to a slightly smaller brush okay yeah oops here we go and we're going to put it back here and now I'm really trying to get more of a look of fur so I'm doing this I'm just pulling it I'm using the top of the brush it's a full load it's not a side load well I take that back it is a side load um, but I'm just putting it and pulling it and that will start giving you that fur look on him which is what you ultimately want And then, let me test it again. I'll kind of always test it. I'm just going to go under here. And I'm going to pull it under, under his little chin. Oops, sorry. Let me get up here so you can see. Okay, now it's a little choppy. So you can always take a brush and just smooth it. And that starts giving you that texture that you want. Now remember, you've got another whole coat. So if you don't get it exactly right on this one, you still have another whole coat you can play with. And I went up the middle section here. And I'm going to lightly do it. Like I said, this is for beginners. This is something that you can do that will give you, I'm going to do his feet now. I'm just going here, cutting up into the area above a little bit. Notice how I did that? I want to cut up into the, the fur above because I want it to look like fur. And then the same thing with his little feet down here. I'm just going to do the same thing. And a little bit on his haunches. Oops. Just pulling the color down. And a little bit on his tail, the dark part at the base and then up at his nose up by his nose he has a little bit of dark these are the strokes I used and then I'm going to go and I'm just going to lightly pull them back make them not quite so harsh And then here, I'm going to put a few down here, too. And we have this little section here where he's got a little division. I'm just going to run a little bit there, a little bit there. Okay? So we've got a lot of the fur, fur put in here. All righty. And then I'm going to take my liner, really clean it off. Now, you can do it with the liner. Or you could do it with um, your Pico Pay. Um, I think the liner is a little gentler on it. And you're just going to, and I'm going to come really close so you can see this. And you're just going to, and you're going to keep cleaning it. But you got to make sure you get as much of the, um, as much of the 
mineral spirits off as possible because you don't want it to pull away from the other colors around there. And you're just going to pull it down to give it that feathery look, that little. And when you get up into this area, you're going to pull the white over in here. If you have white, you can even put a little white on your brush and just that will kind of help you too. And I'm just pulling it the direction I want it to go. And then I may have to feather just slightly. Sometimes I get overzealous. If you did it with your Pico Pay, it's going to be a little harsh. So you may have to go back and lightly wipe it with your brush again. So it's whatever you want to try there. Okay, so now we're going to do his little features. I'm going to take, oh, I didn't show you what this other color looked like. Let me just show you briefly. If you put this color down here, it's almost an automatic shadow. I really like the color. Can you see how it might be hard to see the difference? But like up in here, it's more of a shadow color. And it's it's a really pretty color to use because it lends itself, this is the deep brown uh, gray. It lends itself to giving you the shadow where you want the shadow. So if you want a little shadow here, you use it and it'll give you a little shadow. I don't want quite that much there, so let's take some out. Okay. All righty. So real quick, we're going to um, take our black. We're going to mix it with our drying oil. And I need a little more oil. You want it to be drippy because you want to use your pen. And you're going to take your pen You're just going to scoop up what you need, test it on your tile so you don't get big blobs, okay? And when you get it the way you want it, you're going to do the little eye up here. Do the area above his eye. And then you're going to start working on his eye. You're going to do this part. Underneath his eye, on top his eye, and that's what I mean about if you get the stuff on there too dark, you're going to run into a problem with it sticking, with the pen sticking on the uh, what's there already, and then you can color in this eye. And I have a little brush I can do that with. Here it is. And it'll probably be a little quicker. If it's not super dark, you've got another whole fire that you can do. You can straighten that out and just make sure you get the look of the eye that you want in there. You want him looking up. And then you're going to also do this section down to here, oh. over to here, down here, and up here. I'm just going to correct this a little here. There we go. Okay. That's all you're going to do with the black is there and there. All righty. So now we're going to do the sky. Sky is very simple. I'm not going to do a whole lot of it. It'll give you an idea. I'm just going to take a blue. Um, a cool shadows, one blue you can use, but if we keep it to the simple palette, we're going to use the baby blue. And you're just going to go around him, fairly close to him, 
And you're going to try to make this look like clouds and sky. And you're just going to kind of do the background. Be careful as you get close to the bunny. You don't want to mess them up too much. But I did the bunny first because the bunny takes the longest. And actually the sky is not a problem. So I don't know if you can see how I'm doing this sky, but I um, I have a little oil on here. Ooh, boy, that time I put a ton of oil on there. And I'm just putting it across this guy. And then when I get close to him, I'm trying real hard not to hit him. And I'm just filling it in. Yeah. Okay. And then you're going to continue that all the way around over into this area, but not all the way down because you've got the little twigs and things that you're going to put in there. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to do a whole lot here, but I want it to look like clouds and things in the sky. So I'm not doing it, I'm doing it kind of piecemeal. You can see it's got a little fluff to it. Then I'm going to take my pen again, this time using my finishing brown, and again, I'm going to use the drying oil. I like the drying oil. You don't have to use the drying oil. You can even use, if you don't want to buy this type of oil, I was having a real hard time using a pen. And uh, one of my teachers, I believe it was Liz Balanced, um, told me to try this. And I have to tell you, it made things flow so much easier um, from my pen that I had no problems using a pen. And up until then, I was terrible. Okay, so now you're going to put the little the little um, twigs and things in here. And you're just gonna put it on your pen and you're gonna just, I'm sorry, are you able to see that far away here? Let's do this. I'm just going to make them like little, ra you know, random there. I'm gonna put a little random one here on the ground. I'm maybe going to put a little one over here. And this is where if you have a slightly shaky hand, it comes in really handy. <laughs> and then I'm going to take, I have a very fine brush that I like. And um, it's not exactly a pointer, but it's one of those long brushes I was telling you about. Take my yellow red and just put my little berries on there. Nothing fancy, a couple little berries, a couple little berries over here, a couple over here, maybe a few up here. Okay. Now, the only thing I'm going to look at my bunny and decide is that this area here is a little, I think I still have blue on that. Let me take the blue off. That area there is just a little dark for me, and it's a little smudgy up in the up by his little face there. So I'm just going to pull that down. Okay. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, you also need to do his little toes with the black. So you take your black and you do here. You do here, 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 there there. Now when you fire, all the lines are going to disappear and all you're going to end up with is the little bunny. And I've already done one, of course, that I've been working on. I will show you what he's going to look like after your first fire. So this is the way it looks now with all the lines on it. This one has been fired. So you see, we still have a ways to go in order to get the depth of this piece, which has two fires on it. Um, the only other thing I would suggest is that you might want to take a brush. Oops, this is my wrong brush. Here, I want this brush. Clean it off. Clean it off with the um, mineral spirits. Put a little bit of your oil on it, and just gently, and I'll show you right here. I'm just going to, I hope, yeah. Pull some of the fur out, okay? 
so that you can see that a little bit. And then when it fires, you see how there I have it. You can see that the little white fur is coming out and that seems to just help it a little bit, make it look a little fluffy longer. But I hope you enjoyed today. Um, try the little bunny. Uh, so thank you for watching. See you next week. Hi, I hope you enjoyed the program and I hope that you will watch future programs by liking and subscribing to my page. If you do subscribe, I would really appreciate it so that other people who have a similar interest will be able to see more of this kind of programming. I have studies available at my website along with products. If you're interested in finding out more about those, please look at the description box below. Thank you.